Justin, can you can you speak a little bit on your tonality and how you because even when you were doing that role play as an investor or a realtor, either way, right now when you were talking, like you're changing up your tonality. Can you speak to that a little bit? Place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Yeah, you know, I was raised uh, in music a lot. So like uh, instead of playing baseball and stuff, uh, I was taught to um, like go and take music lessons and things like that. So that's what that's what I did. And so everything is musical for me in life, you know, like it kind of is. And so even my even the meter of my voice and the, the tonalities, I, I'll go up and then I'll go down and then I'll talk like this and I'll get real low. Sometimes I'll slow down. And then I'll crescendo up into a great, big, exciting climax, you know, because that's just music for me. But, you know, I think that helps a little with YouTube. I don't know if it helps a lot with the homeowner. Okay. Just frankly. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I do purposefully do it, though. I will admit that. If you guys uh, ever heard of neuro-linguistic programming... I I have a certification in that. I took I took a certification class in that. Mm-hmm. And so like I do use some of those ideas in in my sales, but I for the most part I'm just a guts guy, you know, really. And but I do things like hey, my name is Justin. Justin, Justin, you see I'm going up on the end. Hell, hey, my name is Justin. Mm. Hey, my name is Justin. Mm. Hey, this is Justin. 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 Which do you like? Somebody give me first one. You like the up. You like the up yeah. on the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So think about how you sound, right? This is a homeowner. He only knows you by how you sound. Mm. Right. And if you're coming off, hey, my name is, uh, I don't know how you do it with one syllable names like Mike. Hey, 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 my name is Jessica. Hey, this is Jessica. Mm -hmm. Almost like a question. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, don't you remember me? Mm -hmm. I've already started hypnotizing them. Mm -hmm. See, that's the power of it. That's the (laughs) neuro-linguistic programming. Mm -hmm. I've already started him thinking internally. Who is this? Do mm. I know this, Jessica? Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's uh, it's interesting, um, Justin, because uh, you know just the opposite of it. Because I've been to a couple of real estate coaching programs, and they—that's called the upswing and a downswing. Mm. So the upswing makes you question, where the downswing is mm. more so authoritative. But we're taught, mm. or I was taught, to use downswings. Hello, this is Mike. Mike with EXP Realty. In a, in a downswing to be more authoritative when you're on the phone. But you're saying that you like to do the upswing with your name um, because it's a, it's, a question, it's a question for them. I do. Because, see, the, 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 very, first, the very first principle, really, I think, of hip, hypnotic sales, <laughs> if we're, and, and Claude talks about this too, conversational hypnosis. But in hypnotic sales, the, the very first thing that you have to accomplish is you have to get them internally dialoguing on your question. If they begin to think inside about what you're talking about, then they'll begin feeling it too. Now you're making, now you're cooking with grease. Okay. So yeah. Hey, this is Justin. They're thinking right away, Justin, do I know a Justin? Justin, 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 I've I think, already got them. I've already got them. I got their attention. Boom, boom, boom. Right there, right off, just with my name. Okay, I'm sorry, Gonzalo. Go for it. Oh, I was going to say, I think going based off what Mike just said, I think coming off as authoritative is almost more like a warm call or if, if you know that they reached out for something. So you want to present yourself as a professional mm-hmm. and give them that authoritative voice mm-hmm. versus a cold call. That they don't know who you are. You want to sound a little more familiar and a little more friendly. I think I think that's uh, a good way to separate those. I like that too. That's good advice. And I think I was thinking earlier. Um, maybe the downswing is more applicable for B two B. Like maybe that's when I employ that. Okay, and and I do try to employ that when I'm talking to another professional. 
Hey, hey, Gonzalo, thanks for taking my call. Uh, this is Justin. Hey, what's up, Justin? Hey, man, that deal that you sent me, uh, let's talk about doing something with that right now. Down okay. Swing. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Homeowner upswings. It's disarming. It's it's hypnotizing. Upswings. Okay. So just I know that sounds you know flaky and everything, everybody, but that's that's really literally like I, I that's why I ask you guys sometimes if I'm crazy because I, I I really get lost in these kind of thoughts. I could spend all day studying them. How? Sorry, it's really for me. This is what it is. How can I use my words? to manipulate my environment to make my life better <laughs> yeah, yeah, right absolutely words have power right yeah. take it back take it back to a philosophical level jesus talked about it buddha talked about it muhammad talked about it you name it they all talk about the power of using your words to sculpt your environment hmm. right that's what makes you different than the animals it's not the thumb it's the fact that you can affect anything with the sound of your voice. Did I just do it right now? Upswing. Yes. Yeah. Now yeah. you're thinking about it, aren't you? I got you. Yeah. It, it was like a very authoritative <laughs> uh, phrase that sunk in real deep and made. Yeah. I, I, I felt that emotion. I felt it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. You guys always make me happy. All right, let's call it a quit, uh, quit session.